Welcome back to Steel City Drones. I'm Dave King. Today we're talking about the DJI Dock 2. Now this is something that's new for the United States, but on an international level, it has been out for a little bit of time. So I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with the Dock 2. And if you haven't seen our video on the Dock 1 for comparison, please go ahead and check that out. But we will talk about and break down what is new for the DJI Dock 2 in comparisons to the Dock 1, a lot of the different applications out there, and a lot more. So the first thing, which everybody is going to be very happy to hear, is that the DJI Dock 2 is lighter and smaller. So this is approximately 75 pounds versus 231 pounds on the Dock 1. And it also is 75% smaller. So that means it's going to be deployable in different type of applications that cannot take quite as large of a footprint. We're going to be able to deploy it in a lot of different applications previously that couldn't be done before. Also, other improvements include a longer distance range of up to 6.2 miles versus the Dock 1's 4.3 miles. Also, the mechanics of the Dock 2 have been significantly improved where there's less moving parts. It no longer needs a pusher to center the drone with the built-in mechanisms. The next generation vision system and cameras along with RTK are gonna help significantly improve landing accuracy. The Dock 2 has an IP55 rating so that it can be used in the most harsh environments out there. Now, with the Dock 2 is an introduction to two new aircraft. We have the DJI 3D and also the DJI 3DT. When we're talking about the non-thermal version, the camera specs are very similar to the Mavic 3 Enterprise. When we're looking at the 3DT, the thermal version, the camera specs are very similar to the Mavic 3 thermal model. There's a really cool new feature called site selection that's going to help you evaluate where you're going to be able to install and set up the dock station. Previously, there's been a lot of challenges to being able to figure out the perfect ideal spot where you're going to go ahead and install the dock. Now, what you can do is before you install the dock, you can go ahead and fly the drone in the intended area you want to fly, and it can do an automatic evaluation of the area around it and perform that evaluation in approximately 10 minutes, and that's going to give you really good feedback on where you should install the dock. Now, both the Matrice 3D and the 3TD are going to be sold separately. So if you want to use these aircraft, you don't necessarily have to buy the actual Dock 2 to use them. Now let's talk about some of the applications you're going to want to be able to use the Dock 2. There is a lot of different applications. Anytime where you want to go ahead and use this in a more remote location that is not practical to be able to staff somebody, where you can go ahead and set everything up remotely and do pre-programmed inspection flights without actually being on site. Obviously, that's going to go ahead and require a beyond line of sight waiver. And if you have any questions about the BLVOS waivers, please give us a call and we'll be glad to go ahead and consult you on the specifics of what you need to do. The Dock 2 is also really good when you need very precise, delicate movements around substations, solar farms, and construction sites, where you might not be able to get as consistent and repeatable flight missions flying them manually. So the RTK system is not only going to help with more precise flights, but it's also going to give you magnetic protection around the high voltage power lines. So the Dock 2 is going to go ahead and use Flight Hub, just like the Dock 1 does. And there's a lot of new integration into Flight Hub 2 that it's going to culminate the Dock 2. You're going to be able to edit the flight route in a 3D environment 
through a first person perspective. Since the aircraft has six directional obstacle sensing, it's going to use obstacle data to automatically calculate bypass routes. Also with a simple click on the location, Flight Hub 2 will automatically be able to calculate best flight routes. Flight Hub 2 also has mission planning, model comparisons and different levels of construction progress. You can go ahead and switch and compare very easily. And Flight Hub 2 now integrates DJI AirSense. So with that said, that's everything about the Dock 2. If you have any more questions on anything that we might not have covered, please put them down in the comment section below or give us a call directly. We'll be definitely glad to help answer any questions that you have. We are taking pre-orders as of right now and we are offering on-site setup and training regarding on how to use the Dock 2 anywhere in the United States. So with that said, thank you again for watching. We'll talk to you soon.